Greetings, true believers. Joel Pal, Spider Man. Hey guys, KJ here for the Shaving Cadre. Um, so I'm back from the lake, back home. Um, had a great time over the weekend, um, but it's time to get back into some regular shaves. Uh, today is going to be all new. Uh, everything that I'm using, uh, except for the blade, is going to be something that's brand new to me. Um, something that I'll be testing out. Um, but I'm going to be focused more on reviewing the brush than anything else today. Um, and it is a special brush. Um, so what I have here <clears throat> is my new Paladin. Um, it was a limited edition brush, uh, from Ken and his family. Um, they did it for the, uh, the Paladin Shaving Round Table. Uh, on the bottom it says Paladin Shaving Round Table. 2018 Beehive LE, um, and they got some really cool um, engraving on the bottom. He only made 65 of these. Let me uh, hit this. So the lighting in here is terrible for this brush. It's way more beautiful in person than than you can see in here. He's got bees going all around the base of it. Um, but this this beehive shape along with the uh, the color of this handle material is is just awesome um, but like I was saying this is a uh, limited edition brush he only made 65 of these um, and it's just it's probably the best palette and brush that I've seen um, just the amount of detail in it and uh, all the engraving and everything is just really cool. I, I, I really like uh, the way um, Paladin makes their brushes. Um, you know, Ken, Ken turns all the handles uh, and gets them ready and then he polish or he sends them off to Cody, his son, and then Cody does all the engraving. And then they come back and then Ken puts the knots in them and him and his wife finish them off and get them ready to ship out. Uh, so it's really a, a family affair, um, and I've seen the way um, that Ken uh, makes his brushes. I, I've toured his shop, uh, I've been to his house, and he showed me, you know, where he does all his work, um, and just the level of detail that they put into him is unlike. I I don't think anybody puts that level of detail into it. Um, he hand cuts all the. Uh, the, the spacers to make sure that the loft is right on each brush. So each each brush is going to be drilled and then the knot is going to be set in it. And then he's going to test each one to see what size spacer he needs to put in there to make sure that the loft is optimal. I mean, he's not just going, eh, this is close enough and throws it in there. He A lot of care is put into each individual brush um, and it shows like the, the quality of these is just amazing. Um, but I was really glad to get in on the uh, the the brush, the the limited edition brush. Uh, this this is just incredible. So the the beehive shape, I've kind of uh, figured out. There's two kind of hand grips that you can do. The one is if I just place the the grip uh, the right in the uh, palm of my finger there, palm of my finger. That didn't make any sense. You know what I mean. Um, and then just grab the actual. Uh, beehive portion right there or you can just um, do a shorter grip and uh, this is a really probably the more secure grip this is probably a more natural feeling grip um, but depending on how you want to hold your brush the, that's kind of two natural ways to hold it um, so I'm gonna get this soaking uh, while I talk about some other stuff um, so the razor that I'm using today is going to be um, a Rockwell razor. Um, so this one's on loan to me. Um, I've, I've, there, I've only used a couple of moderns, uh, a Mercur and an Edwin Yager, so I haven't used any of the uh, newer iterations and different things, uh, any of the razor systems. So this Rockwell has three different base plates. Each one is double-sided so you can uh, get the level of aggression that you want. Um, it was recommended to me not to start at the very beginning, um, 
but I did want to kind of test this out. So I'm going ahead and, and skipping one, but I'm just going to start with two and five days in the week. So two through six, uh, Monday through Friday, I'm just going to use two, three, four, five, six. And uh, we'll see where I end off. I think I'll probably enjoy somewhere around the uh, four to five range, uh, just because I don't like super aggressive razors. Um, but we'll see. This will be a new experience. Um, it's definitely really heavy. Um, and so that's going to be a new experience too. So for soaps, um, to go along with my beehive brush, um, I kind of had two choices that I was looking at. Um, either my honeybee soaps and the mountain meadow is a new scent that I haven't actually used yet, um, but smells wonderful and uh, beehive soaps. So I had to pick one of these, beehive or honeybee, uh, to go with my beehive brush. Um, but I went with the beehive, um, mainly uh, beehive, beehive. But uh, this one is also my newest soap. I haven't used it yet. Um, it just, it came in on Friday, the same day that the uh, my Rockwell razor and the Paladin brush came in. They actually all came in on the same day. Um, so this one is the Lime Margarita scent. Um, and it really does just smell like a, a Lime Margarita. Like I expected the Lime to be, to be more out front, but it's it's really blended in there and you almost get that, that kind of alcohol-y scent from the uh, Margarita. So looking forward to using this. Uh, <clears throat> Beehive Soaps is, one of my new favorite soaps after uh, Chad kind of introduced me to it. Um, it. It really is an outstanding soap and probably the best soap that I've used. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the, uh, the beehive brush, lathering the beehive soap. Uh, one thing I did notice is... Um, you know, I did a super quick test lather with this uh, brush last night just to break it in, so to speak, and just check it out. And um, there was no badger funk at all. Um, and so I don't know if Ken is doing something different when he, if he's washing these knots before he sends them out. Um, but there really isn't any um, any nasty badger funk on this brush, which is nice that it doesn't stink, but it's kind of like a rite of passage sometimes, I think, um, to uh, break your brush in and, and use it until the funk goes away. So one more thing about this brush, um, each one is individually numbered uh, with Roman numerals on the bottom. In the very center of that honeycomb, each one has a unique Roman numeral on it from 1 to 65. Uh, Ken said that he was keeping the last one, number 65. Um, And I got number 42. XLII. And then in the, uh, around the outside of it where it says Paladin uh, Shaving Round Table 2018, the 2018 is also in Roman rules. The only way to get the brush is to be part of the Paladin Shaving Roundtable, and that is a Facebook group that Ken started.
tend to under water my soaps. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more lathering. This brush just feels amazing. Nice and soft. Plenty of backbone. I like the bulb shape better than the fan shapes. And this one is pretty much the right size for me. I'm gonna go ahead, add water one more time. So I like to smush my brush in when I'm gonna add water. And then I just drizzle drizzle the water directly into the opening that I've created. all day. Alright, so that's some good lather. heft of this razor is really nice. I usually do uh, put some pressure on my razors, but I don't have to at all with this one. It is mild, but I don't feel that plate number two is overly mild. It seems like it's fairly efficient. But I definitely think I'm going to like... Uh, a more aggressive plate better than that one. This doing a fair job. So lather up for two. Pass number two. If you haven't checked out Beehive Soaps, it's a uh, soap maker out of Utah. And uh, she's got four cents right now. She's got uh, my margarita, um, I'm gonna get it wrong. It's a uh, crisp alpine stream, which is a uh, clone of a Creed scent. Uh, the alpine stream or whatever that one is, mountain, I don't know, I forget the name of it. And uh, she's got a sandalwood and a bay rum. Um, and they're just phenomenal. Like, I like it better than um, Declaration Grooming. It's that good. And the, uh, the thing that I like most about it is the fact that the puck in the tub is, the soap is actually hard. Uh, I'm not a fan of the soft soaps that you could scoop out. Um, I think it just loads better and more consistently when the puck is hard, when the soap surface is hard. Because then the brush actually loads the soap 
instead of scooping out pieces of soap. I think you get a better, more consistent lather that way. And I think the soap lasts longer that way too. Somebody just posted on the uh, shaving round table. The last couple days, somebody posted that they got uh, brush number 30, which is triple X. So that's a fun number. And then uh, somebody just posted yesterday, I believe, that they got brush number one, which that's pretty cool too. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of touch up um, but the residual slickness is pretty good so I'm not gonna relather all in all this is really comfortable razor this plate I don't have any any worry about cutting myself at all nice and mild but I think it's also pretty efficient but I'll get more into the razor in my uh, future videos this week I really just wanted to focus on my new brush today This was a really good shave. I mean, I did enjoy this. All right. So I'll go ahead and clean this stuff off real quick. It's my face. up with my witch hazel and I'll let that dry for a little bit show off my new paladin um, so he also said uh, in the group that um, aside from individually numbering the brushes on the bottom uh, they also all well, not all, but there's a few different patterns of the bees. So not every brush is going to be the same on the bottom as far as the bees that are on there. So that's kind of unique and something that people are posting pictures of their brushes so that they can get to uh, see which ones are which and maybe see if there's a pattern to it. Um, but um, I'm really, I'm really loving this brush. Uh, I love the Buck Rogers uh, brush. That's my favorite uh, favorite handle style, and I've got a couple of those. Um, but this brush is really cool, and it I may I may like this one a little bit better than the Buck Rogers, probably not though. Um, but I like it just as much. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what else they come up with. They've got they're coming out with uh, new ideas all the time. Uh, last year they did a, a very, very limited run of the jack-o'-lantern brushes, so um, future holiday seasons, who knows. Um, one thing that I think would be super, super cool is to do a uh, snowman with the uh, sumo uh, handle for Christmas. That would be awesome. Um, or maybe Santa with the sumo, who knows. Probably the snowman with a white one, 
put a white a white sumo handle with a with a snowman that would be awesome but anyways uh palette and brushes uh love it uh thanks for watching uh if you haven't checked us out yet join us on the uh the shaving and uh look me up i'm spider and we'll see you guys on the forums bye did it again i was talking about the brush and totally forgot about the aftershave so i also got in this uh brand new mirsol aftershave agua balsamica so i wanted to finish up my shave with that so this one has got a uh it's kind of a weird scent for an aftershave it's a basically a mixture of three uh herbs so it almost smells like uh you just not that you just pulled something out of the oven but you just put something in the oven because the herbs are really strong um which it kind of smells weird right at the beginning um but i tested it out last night and the uh the dry down is um it's pretty nice actually um it doesn't seem like it'd be a good scent for an aftershave but it really is so um that's my agua balsamica and uh thanks for sticking with me while i edit my video and uh we'll see you guys back on the shaving cottage forum see ya bye